Did you know that gravity, the very force that keeps us grounded, is a mystery unsolved in the quantum world? That's right, gravity, something we experience every single day, remains a baffling conundrum when we delve into the tiny quantum realm. This conundrum is the challenge of unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity, two major pillars of modern physics. On one hand, we have quantum mechanics, a theory that describes the universe at its smallest scales, where particles can be in two places at once. On the other hand, we have general relativity, Einstein's brainchild, which explains gravity and the large-scale structure of the universe. But here's the catch. These two theories, as successful as they are, just don't play nicely together. This has led to a quest for quantum gravity, a theory that can bring these two giants into harmony. So are you ready to delve into the top 10 theories about quantum gravity? Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is the holographic principle. This mind-boggling concept suggests that our three-dimensional universe is, in fact, a projection of information encoded on a two-dimensional boundary. It's akin to a hologram, where a flat surface holds the information to project a three-dimensional image. Think of it this way, imagine your world as a balloon. The air inside represents our three-dimensional universe, while the balloon's surface symbolizes the two-dimensional boundary. All the complexities, the entities, the events occurring inside the balloon are encoded on its surface. This principle, originating from string theory, is a radical departure from our everyday perception of reality. It challenges our understanding of space, time, and the very fabric of the universe. So next time when you look around, remember, everything you see, touch, hear, or feel might be just a projection from a two-dimensional plane. Imagine that our entire universe could be a hologram. At number 9, we have asymptotic safety. This intriguing theory suggests that gravity, the force that tugs at the apples and keeps our feet firmly on the ground, becomes weaker at high energies. Now, this might seem counterintuitive at first glance, but it's a novel idea that could hold the key to understanding the universe at its most fundamental level. Imagine a universe teetering on the edge of quantum chaos where the rules of physics as we know them break down. But just when things are about to get out of hand, gravity steps in like a cosmic safety net, ensuring the universe's stability. In the realm of asymptotic safety, gravity acts as a guardian, protecting the cosmos from the wild and unpredictable world of quantum fluctuations. It's a theory that challenges our understanding of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. So, gravity might be our universe's safety net from quantum chaos. Number eight takes us into the world of quantum foam. Picture a universe where space-time isn't a smooth continuum, but a seething, bubbling entity. This is the concept of quantum foam, a fundamental hypothesis in quantum mechanics. John Wheeler, a renowned physicist, first proposed this idea in the 1950s. He suggested that at the smallest scales, the fabric of space-time is subject to quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations cause space-time to behave like a frothy sea, hence the term quantum foam. Now, you might ask, how small are these scales? We're talking about the Planck scale, named after Max Planck, the father of quantum mechanics. This is a realm so tiny it's about a hundred million trillion times smaller than a proton. In this infinitesimal world, space-time is not a still lake but a stormy sea with waves and whirlpools constantly appearing and disappearing. It's a fascinating, if mind-boggling, concept. So the smooth space-time we perceive might be just an illusion? At number seven, we have quantum graffiti. This fascinating theory takes a rather unorthodox approach to the nature of space. Instead of viewing space as a fundamental entity, quantum graffiti suggests that it's emergent, born from a deeper underlying level of quantum graphs. Imagine a network of nodes and links, not unlike the neurons and synapses in our brain. This complex web of interconnected points is what quantum gravity theorizes as the building blocks of space. As the universe cools and expands, these quantum graphs transition into the familiar three-dimensional space we know and experience. This transition is similar to how water transforms from a disordered, fluid state to a structured, crystalline state as it freezes. So, the space around us might not be as fundamental as we've always thought, but a phase of matter in the quantum gravity state. Intriguing, isn't it? space might not be as fundamental as we think. Next up at number six is causal dynamical triangulation. This intriguing approach to quantum gravity is akin to playing with cosmic Lego blocks. Here's how it works. In causal dynamical triangulation, or CDT for short, 
the structure of space-time is not assumed from the onset. Instead, it's derived from more fundamental building blocks. These blocks are simple four-dimensional shapes or simplices that can be combined in different ways. Their assembly is governed by the rules of quantum mechanics. This process is simulated on a computer and the emergent structure of space-time is observed. Interestingly, these simulations have shown that a four-dimensional space-time similar to the one we live in emerges naturally. This is quite remarkable considering the simplicity of the building blocks and the rules used to assemble them. So it seems our universe might not be so different from a grand Lego structure, intricately assembled piece by piece. And so our universe's structure might be a result of a cosmic Lego game. At halfway through our list at number 5 is Emergent Gravity. This theory takes a radical approach, suggesting that gravity isn't a fundamental force as we've come to believe. Instead, it proposes that gravity is an emergent phenomenon, a result of the entanglement of quantum information. In the quantum world, particles can become entangled, meaning their states are interconnected regardless of distance. This entanglement, according to emergent gravity, gives rise to what we perceive as gravity. Imagine a vast, intricate web of entangled quantum information stretching across the universe. The tension in this web, the connections and interplay between entangled particles, creates the gravitational pull that keeps our planets in orbit and our feet on the ground. This theory paints a fascinating picture of a universe where gravity is not a separate entity, but a consequence of the quantum world's complex dance. So, gravity might be just a byproduct of quantum entanglement. Coming in at number 4 is loop quantum gravity. Now this is a theory that takes a bit of a different approach to the conundrum of quantum gravity. It proposes that the fabric of space-time itself is made up of tiny indivisible loops. Imagine, if you will, a mesh of thread so fine that each link is a billion trillion times smaller than an atomic nucleus. This is the idea behind loop quantum gravity, a radical departure from traditional physics and an exciting new avenue for the study of the universe. It's a theory that doesn't simply seek to unite the worlds of quantum mechanics and general relativity. Instead, it suggests a fundamental rethinking of these concepts, proposing that space-time itself is quantized. These tiny loops of space-time are not just theoretical constructs, but actual, physical entities. They are the building blocks of the universe, the smallest possible units of space-time. And it's their interactions, their dance, if you will, that gives rise to what we perceive as gravity. In this view, gravity is not a force transmitted across empty space, as Newton once suggested, and it's not merely the bending of space-time by mass and energy, as Einstein later proposed. Instead, gravity might be something far more fundamental. It might be a manifestation of the very structure of space-time itself at the most basic level. So gravity might be the result of the dance of these quantum loops, at number 3, we have the superstring theory, a theory that paints a picture of a universe stitched together by the delicate threads of strings. These strings aren't like the ones on your guitar or your sneakers, they're theoretical, existing at the most fundamental level of reality. The superstring theory suggests that every particle, every quark, every electron, every photon is a tiny vibrating string. Each string resonates with its own unique frequency much like the individual notes played on a violin. These notes, these vibrations, give the particles their unique properties, such as mass and charge. Now, where does gravity fit into this orchestral universe? Well, according to the superstring theory, gravity is the result of one particular string's vibration. This string is distinct from all the rest as it vibrates in a way that creates the force we know as gravity. Imagine a symphony orchestra. Each instrument plays a different note, creating a harmonious melody. Similarly, in our universe, every string vibrates in its own unique way, together creating the diverse array of particles and forces that construct the reality we know and live in. The superstring theory is not just a theory about particles, it's a theory about everything, a grand unified theory that attempts to weave together all the fundamental forces and particles into a single harmonious framework. So, our universe might be a symphony of vibrating strings, each string playing its part, each note crucial to the melody that is our universe. Almost at the top, at number two, we delve into quantum gravity and black holes. Now, black holes, as we know, are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. 
These cosmic behemoths seem to defy our understanding of physics, and yet they might just be the key to unlocking the secrets of quantum gravity. You see, at the heart of a black hole under immense gravity, space and time as we know them cease to exist. This singularity as it's called is where our current theories, Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics, clash, creating a paradox. But this paradox is exactly what makes black holes so intriguing to physicists. Studying these singularities could provide insights into the quantum nature of gravity. Some physicists propose that at these extreme conditions, space and time might be quantized, just like energy and matter are in quantum mechanics. Others suggest that black holes could be a gateway to other universes, a concept that's straight out of science fiction, but not entirely dismissed in the realm of theoretical physics. It's also worth noting that the information paradox, a conundrum about the fate of information that falls into a black hole, has led to new ways of thinking about quantum gravity. So, black holes might hold the key to understanding quantum gravity? And finally, at number one, we explore quantum gravity and the early universe. Our universe's birth, the Big Bang, was a moment of extreme energy and density. It's a setting where both quantum mechanics, the physics of the very small, and general relativity, the physics of the very large, come into play. Understanding this moment could provide invaluable insights into quantum gravity, the theory that seeks to reconcile these two seemingly incompatible fields. Quantum gravity proposes that space and time are not continuous, but made of tiny, discrete pieces. They form a sort of quantum foam, constantly fluctuating and bubbling at the smallest scales. The early universe, right after the Big Bang, might have resembled this foam, with space and time not yet smooth and continuous as we perceive them today. The Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, is a snapshot of the universe around 375,000 years after the Big Bang. It's our earliest observable evidence of the universe's state at that time. Studying the CMB, scientists can look for signs of quantum gravity's effects on the early universe. For instance, the theory predicts that these effects could leave an imprint on the CMB's polarization, a prediction that future space missions could test. Another way quantum gravity could have shaped our universe is through cosmic inflation. This theory suggests that, a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe underwent a rapid expansion. Quantum gravity could provide a mechanism for this inflation, with quantum fluctuations in the universe's density, triggering and driving the expansion. These are just a few ways that studying the early universe could help us understand quantum gravity. It's a field still very much in its infancy, with many theories yet to be tested. But the early universe, in all its extreme high-energy glory, may hold the keys to this grand scientific puzzle. So the birth of our universe might unlock the secrets of quantum gravity. And that concludes our journey into the fascinating and complex world of quantum gravity. We've delved into the depths of the universe, from the enigma of black holes to the birth of the cosmos itself. We've explored theories that challenge our understanding of reality, each offering a unique piece to the puzzle. Quantum gravity, despite its infancy, holds promise for a future where we can reconcile the physics of the very small with the physics of the very large. If this journey through the cosmos has enlightened you or simply sparked your curiosity, give this video a like and don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments section. Your insights and questions fuel the collective quest for understanding the universe. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest explorations into the mysteries of the universe. We have a universe to explore, and every subscriber is a fellow explorer. Lastly, do share this video with your friends and family. After all, the journey through the cosmos is more enjoyable when shared. Until next time, keep looking up and keep questioning.